Okay, here we are. Time is running out. Is it true? Is time running out? Do we often feel that time is running out, that there's not enough time or space to do what we need to do, that there's not going to be enough company to assist us in what we're wanting, that we're not going to have the assistance we need to accomplish what we need to accomplish? Is time running out? Is time uh, accessing us in a way that we're not going to be able to finish our goals, finish our deeds here on this earth plane? Is time catching up with us so we're not going to be able to see the things that we want to see and do the things that we want to do? Is time going to take a hold of us and allow us only to see certain things on this earth plane? Or do we have unlimited time and space to accomplish, do, be, see, right? What do you think? Do you think that time is catching up with us? Do you think that time is going to give us what we need? <clears throat> what do you think? Do you think that there's enough space for us to accomplish the things that we need to accomplish? Do you think that we can give time and space enough energy to allow us to see, feel, do, experience what we want to see, feel, do, and experience? Because when we feel that time is running out in this body and there's not enough time left to do what we want to do and each day is filled with so much time, only so much time to do what we need to do, then where does that leave us? It leaves us a little bit stuck, doesn't it? Because how can we accomplish? How can we do? How can we receive? How can we be when we only have so much time? So do we dedicate our time to God's grace, to God's love, to God's truth, to God's peace, to God's understanding? Do we dedicate our time to everything that we need, everything that we're wanting, and everything that we're desiring on this earth plane? Do we dedicate our time to everything that we're receiving from the grace of the energy of con God's consciousness within us and all around us? Do we receive God's consciousness within us and all around us in every day and everything that we are doing? Do we consciously allow God's consciousness to be a part of us, to be within us? to be around us. I am accepting God's consciousness, God's grace, God's beingness within my being so that I can see, that I can do, that I can be everything that I came here to see, do, and be. Is there ener any energy that is not allowing us to see, that is not allowing us to do, that is not allowing us to accomplish the things that we came here to see, do, and accomplish? Have you seen that you are energetic consciousness within this realm of reality? Have you seen that you are energetic consciousness with within this realm of of reasoning. Is it true? So what do we want? Do we want more time? Do we want more space? Do we want more energy? So when we come into that aspect of time, space, and energy, do we understand that we are creating everything that we have seen, everything that we have wanted, everything that we have done? Our time, space, reality is merely a creation of our own being. Have we seen that? Have we seen that the recognition of time and space in our reality is merely a creation of our own beingness? So once we recognize that the time-space reality we are living in is the creation of our own being, we can accept that everything we want is here now in this reality of this time-space reality that we have created for ourselves to live in now. Do you see? Do you see that everything we are creating, everything we are doing, everything we are accepting, everything that we are wanting, it's all here now in this time-space reality that we have created for ourselves. Look around you. Do you see anything that you're not wanting? Do you see anything that you're not receiving? Do you see anything that is not yours in this reality? Have you looked around you enough to understand that the consciousness within all things has come through you as you and you have received God's grace within you and it is telling you what to do next? isn't it? What is it telling you to do next? Have you seen that the consciousness of grace within you is the consciousness of all things and we cannot be anything other than that consciousness of grace within our own being? We accept God's grace within our own being. We accept God's consciousness within us and we know and we allow and we feel and we be and we do. 
So where does that fit into the realm of manifesting power, manifesting money, manifesting things? Where does that fit into the realm of the manifestation of our consciousness on this earth plane? Do we know that the power of God's grace rests within us as us and the power that is within us is the power of all things? We cannot be in a powerful stance without the power of God's grace running through us consciously, right? Deceiving nothing, deceiving no one. Only the power of God's grace can be the power within us that allows us to be powerful on this earth plane and in that position of power. We only take the stance of God's grace, we only take the stance of God's truth, and we only take the stance of being kindness, right? Divinity, loving, truthful, oneness, peace. All the energetic understanding that comes through us is that power of God's grace. Is it not true? <clears throat> so what do you want? As we aspect that part of ourselves out into consciousness that is God's grace, that is God's truth, that is God's divinity, do we see that the consciousness within us is the consciousness of all things? Have we accepted God's reality within us as the grace of all things? Have we known that the grace of all things is God's reality with our own being? Do you know within you is God's grace? Do you know within you is God's peace? Do you know within you is the consciousness of all things? Accept it, know it, become it now and start receiving from that place. What are we receiving? What do you want to receive? What do you want to know? What do you want to experience? So the blessings of God's grace are coming through you now. Expect it, right? Expect it, experience it, know it, feel it, divin it into your place of divinity now, always being one with all things, always being in that truth of all things, always being in that knowingness of the consciousness of all things. Have we come here to be great on this earth plane? Have we come here to be deceived by our own beingness? No, we have come here to be great and we have come here to see and we have come here to know and we have come here to experience. And there is not a being in this world that is separated from that divinity. There is not a being in this world who is conscious only of himself and not of everything around him. There is not a being in this world who can only see divinity within nothingness because we are the consciousness of all things. The consciousness of all things has come through us as us. So what do you want? Explore your divinity and ask yourself, what do I want? Explore your divinity and ask yourself, what am I wanting here now on this earth plane? What am I wanting here now in this experience of grace? What am I wanting here now in this experience of peace? What am I wanting here now in this experience of oneness? What do I want? I ask myself what I want and as I go deeper and deeper and deeper into the inquiry of what do I want, what do I want, what do I want, what do I see, what do I need, go deeper and deeper and deeper into the inquiry of what do I want. How have I found myself on this earth plane? How have I seen myself incorporating myself into all other beings? How have I experienced myself in this grace in the world? How have I known myself? How have I accepted everything into me now? So what do I want, what do I want? Is the question, what do I want? Do I want to exceed my expectations about myself and my reality? Do I want to exceed my expectations about myself and how high I have been and who I have been? Do I want to exceed my expectations about the divinity within me and how it can come forth in the divine reality around me, the consciousness that is receiving me, the consciousness that is the graciousness of all things? Has it come through me as me? What do I want? Money. Manifesting money is the consciousness of all things. It is not separated out from you. It's, it is not different from you. It is not a piece of something else. You are a part of the consciousness of all things. Money is a part of the consciousness of all things. Have you seen that the grace of God's energy comes through you as you? That is grace. That is peace. That is truth. That is you. That is money. That is all things. There is nothing separated from that grace within God's beingness. You are the divinity of all things. Allow that consciousness to come through you as grace, right? Allow that consciousness to come through you as you, as deceiving you not, as deceiving you not, because deception is only in the mind. It is not in the inquiry within our heart space. We have seen only God's grace within the inquiry within our heart space. What are we, what are we receiving? What are we doing? What are we expecting? What are you expecting? You have come God's, become God's grace within your being. You are God's grace in all things. God's grace comes through you as you. What is money? What is manifestation? Why do we have such a complex about the manifestation of money on this earth plane? Why 
do we have such a complex about the manifestation of anything divine on this earth plane? Why do we have such a complex about what we're bringing forth from within our being on this earth plane? Is it okay to bring forth money? Is it okay to bring forth things? Is it okay to bring forth things to experience and joy and pleasure and uh, experience the divinity of all things in this earth? Why not? It's all divine. There's no separation from the divinity. Why not experience it? Why not be it? Right? Why not equip yourself with something divine within your own being? Why not equip yourself with something pe periodically, uh, potentially uh, f full, full, full of consciousness, right? Why not equip yourself with everything that you need now? Why not equip yourself with everything that is divine? Why not equip yourself? Why not? What is the uh, experience of consciousness within your being? What is the experience of grace within your being? What is the experience of periodic understanding of knowing yourself, knowing yourself divinely, knowing yourself exceptionally? So have you seen that God's grace comes through you as you? That's the thing, right? Have you seen that God's grace comes through you as you? And what is that grace? There's no separation from anything, nothing. Nothing on this earth plane can be separated out from you. So who cares if you want money? Money's wonderful. Money is divine. Money's perfect. Money's pristine. Who cares if you want anything? It's all divine. It's all wonderful. It's all pristine. Have we separated ourselves out from money? Have we separated ourselves out from the consciousness of anything? Have we separated ourselves out from the consciousness of grace within our own being? Because the consciousness of grace within our own being is the exceptional nature of God's quality of grace within all things there is nothing separate from us so what are we saying here was money created to give you angst anxiety no was money created to give you periods of anguish and despair no was money created to be a joyful blessing that you can share that you can equip yourself with the things that you're wanting and needing on this earth plane was money created so that you can become a desirous being of divine love and light consciousness was money created so that you can become a desirous being a full potential on this earth plane was money created so that you can see the things that you're wanting to see in this desirous world of love light joy consciousness bliss truth understanding yes money was created so that you you can find yourself in the divinity of all things is it possible that money was created so that you can find yourself within the divinity of all things have you ever accepted money within your consciousness within your being as the divinity of all things have you ever accepted money within your consciousness within your being as the consciousness of all things have you ever accepted money as the grace of God's grace within your own being have you ever accepted money as the thing that you're wanting on this earth plane as a beautiful desirous wonderful expansion of God's consciousness and bliss have you you ever accepted money as the bright, beautiful, glowing, right, luminescent, feeling, sparkling, wonderful, joyful energy that you've created on this earth plane? Why have we accepted money as less than that? Why have we accepted money as anything other than God's grace and God's consciousness within our own being? Why have we accepted money as something that is dark and dirty, right? Have we done that? Have we accepted money? Have we been told, ooh, money is evil, ooh, money is the root of all evil, oh, we, we cannot see things as divine because we have too much money or he has too much money or they have too much money what are they doing with their money oh that's bad they're doing that with their money oh we can't have money because that's bad and they do those bad things with money and money creates that what is that we've created consciousness within our own being we've created grace within our own being we've created truth within our own being we've created consciousness in all things and all things is consciousness have you ever seen god's grace within you as the consciousness of all things because once we've seen god's grace within us as the consciousness of all things everything becomes graceful everything becomes peaceful everything becomes loving everything becomes kind we are that energy within us that is God's grace we have never been separated out from that energy we have never been anything but that truth within our own being and we have never seen anything but the consciousness of our own grace within everything we are now receiving that grace within our being because we are now accepting God's grace within us close your eyes now see the consciousness of all things within you Close your eyes and see the consciousness of grace within you. Accept God's grace within your being. Feel the grace of energy of consciousness moving through you. Allow it to feel you. Allow it to expect you to be great. Allow it to expand its consciousness within your being. Allow yourself to feel the energy of consciousness moving through you now. Allow yourself to feel the energy of grace in your being allow it to expand out from you into all things 
Allow it to expand out from you into every portal, every hair, every molecule, everything you've ever seen, everything you've ever known. Expand it, expand it into everything because everything is all there is and all there is is all there will ever be. We are that. Expand your grace into everything you've ever known, everything you've ever seen, everything you've ever felt. Enjoy the energy of God's grace and God's consciousness within you. Feel it, receive it, be it, know it, consciously activate it as you are awakening to the consciousness within you. Feel it arising now within your being. Feel it opening up within your own energy field of consciousness and grace. Feel everything as you feel your own beingness within your own being. Feel the energy of God's grace expanding out from you into everything that you've ever known, everything that you've ever seen, everything that you've ever felt. Open it up. Feel it and open it up. Feel it and open it up. Feel it. Now allow yourself to become the money that you are wanting and receiving. Allow yourself to become the manifestation of that object or that thing or that person that you are wanting. Allow yourself to become the energy of God's grace within you, becoming each and everything that exists on this earth plane. Allow yourself to become the energy of God's grace within you, expanding out into the consciousness of all things become that now. If you are the consciousness of money, if you are the consciousness of your divine lover, if you are the consciousness of whatever experience you're wanting or expecting to be placed in front of you, do you feel the energy of that consciousness receiving you into it? Do you feel the energy of that consciousness accepting you into its beingness? Do you feel the energy of that consciousness wanting you as you are wanting it? We become the desire of God's grace because God God's grace is the desire of everything and everyone. Do you understand? There is nothing that is consciously separating itself from God's grace because we are all one in the consciousness of all things, whether it's an experience, whether it's money, whether it's an object, whether it is you, whether it is me, whether it is the lover that I am calling forth, whether it is a baby that you are wanting, it doesn't matter. We are all one. We are all conscious and we are all grace and we are all expanding our graciousness into the consciousness of God's grace now. And that is everything we have ever wanted. Do you see? That is everything that we have ever expected, needed, desired. Do you see? The desire of God's grace is resting within you as the consciousness of all things. What is the desire of God's grace within you? We are expecting consciousness to raise the vibration of energy within our being. Allow yourself to see the consciousness of grace within you and allow yourself to see that you are creating whatever you need, whatever you desire in the consciousness of grace as the consciousness of grace. Do you see? We are that consciousness of grace. We are the expansion of energy within our own being. We are the consciousness of receiving and allowing everything to be, everything to see, everything to experience, right? Allowing, allowing allowing and receiving and knowing and being and accepting. I am the allowance of God's grace within my own being, and I am not separate from anything that exists, ever has existed or ever will exist. I am that energy of consciousness within me. I cannot separate myself out from anything or anyone I've seen. I am that consciousness within my own being. Expect it to be you as you expect the grace of God's energy to flow through you in every moment of every day. The simple act of remembering who we truly are allows us to experience everything we've ever wanted or needed on this earth plane. If you expect God's grace to come through, you expect everything that you're needing to be one with you. 
if you expect God's grace to come through you, you, you are expecting everything that you have ever consciously desired to be a part of you now. If you are expecting God's grace to come through you, you are receiving the energy of consciousness into your being and accepting that you are the grace of everything, everything you've ever desired is within you and is consciously actively rotating around you, becoming you, knowing you, seeking you, wanting you, and we are that energy of grace. We cannot conceive of a reality where there is nothing that is wanting or needing us because in a reality where there is nothing that is wanting or needing us, we have become the divine energy of consciousness that will not exist on this earth plane. Is it true? So we are consciously receiving, desiring, knowing, feeling, accepting, and becoming. That is our grace, that is our wisdom, and that is our truth. And I will be with you again on the subject of money and manifesting our desires because we have come here to see, receive, become, and know our true energy of grace within everything, everything, everything we are knowing. It is our energy of grace that receives, that allows, that accepts, that divinely offers right to everything and everyone in our conscious understanding. I am offering you grace. I am offering you peace. I am offering you love. I am offering you truth. I am offering you the divinity that rests within me as all things. Because you are me and I am you and we are the consciousness of everything that we see. And we have accepted God's grace into our being and we know that God's grace is the truth of our own energy coming through us now as the grace of all things. Become that energy as you rest in the consciousness of your own true being. We are that energy. I love you. I love you. I love you. My energy is your grace. Your grace is my energy. We've seen everything we've ever seen. We've known everything we've ever known. We consciously allow it to become us in the space of truth, love, light, divinity, and peace and joy. Allow the energy of your grace to be. I love you. Seeking God's grace within me. Seeking God's grace in the energy of all things. Seeking God's grace as we accept God's grace in our own true peace. I love you. Receive me as I receive you. We are that energy. I am that I am in all things. Nia <laughs> Arakarainia, Hiruno kola huma mole taito, Arna no Hiru krula mote amaraka, Hiura rana ini, I know.
That's all. We'll see you soon. Jai Ma. We are the one of all things. We are the energy of consciousness. We are the energy of grace. We are the energy of truth. We have come through you as you, as the divine essence of all things. We love you. We'll see you soon. Get around.